Hello everybody, my name is Mike Kinnick and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for Kaiserreich, where we are playing as the Dominion of Canada. Uh, shortly after the beginning of the American Civil War, and we are in a bit of trouble, as you can clearly see. Uh, the well, our ideological enemies, the CSA, uh, are expanding, and they're expanding fast, and we are still out of manpower here we are not able to train any more divisions as a matter of fact i'm not able to even um convert any of the divisions that we do have into real deal good divisions as we have designed them but we are going to do what we can now i hope this episode to be able to bring some heat to the csa and uh hopefully take up some of their territories so that we can in fact, get more manpower. Uh, for example, here, if we took over Michigan itself, that's 4.99 million manpower alone. Even with our current manpower laws, that would help us bigly. So uh, let's go ahead and have a look at some of the things that were kind of left to the side last time. I was informed that I do, in fact, have the fate of Panama decision to do here. And if I don't do it, then there will be bad things happening to us. So let's go ahead and do the fate of Panama. Uh, we will liberate Panama, but maintain ownership of the canal. We are not going to give it up. We fought for it. We bought it in blood and we are keeping it. You guys can go ahead and uh, keep the rest of it for yourselves. And who is this? Costa Rica, Panama. Yeah. You know, we're going to bring one of these divisions back. As a matter of fact, oh God, I wish we could have brought back all of them. But again, I did agree to guard this on behalf of Costa Rica and on behalf of Panama, even though they didn't really have a say in the matter. So we are going to stay here for now. We're going to keep at least two divisions here, one in the north, one in the south. And we can bring this division back. Which will be quite helpful. Alright, are you coming back? You are. Alright, good stuff. Okay, refugees flood into St. Lawrence. With the situation in America worsening, it's no surprise that the Dominion of Canada has become the top destination for those fleeing the violence. Many of the immigrants are legal, but an increasingly large number are not. Already there are several refugee camps in St. Lawrence, many of them coming from Maine. And their numbers are putting a strain on our supplies. Observers comment that the situation is likely to get worse before it gets better. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. But, guys, I realized I really should have um, taken the decision to occupy New England. I really should have done that. That would have increased our manpower by a huge degree. You know, among other things, it, it would have done us a lot of good, but... You know, unfortunately, we cannot go back to that, so... Uh, Peru declared war on Ecuador. Alright, fine. Uh, the American Civil War, we can't do any of these because we have negative political power. Uh, one thing I want to do, though, is here with the IEDC, let's go ahead and invite Panama. And have them uh, contribute their political power to us. Well, to the organization, I should say. All right, Panama agrees to join. Let's go ahead and invite Costa Rica. The fall of Denver, Pacific conscripts, okay. All right, so yeah, Denver. No, no, I know my geography, guys. I know my geography. It's here somewhere. Des Moines, Iowa, what? Uh, Missouri, no. Kansas, Kansas, Colorado. There it is. Denver. Yes, Denver has fallen to the... That is really embarrassing, guys. I, I Can we just go back and pretend that that didn't happen? That, that would be great. Thank you. Okay, Costa Rica has joined. So what we can do is we can yet again invest in ourselves. But do we want to do that? We could also invest in the West Indies Federation. Huh. I say we invest in us and in civilian factories. 
because what are we doing here? Yeah, we're still trying to build civilian factories. Oh, man. Yeah, and it's not going well at all, guys. But we did get self-propelled light artillery. So I am happy about that. Um, but still, you know, we're not building any divisions. So I think we should probably focus on the things that will uh, multiply what we already have rather than uh, new things like tanks and all these other shiny new toys that I really want, but we can't get. And it is 1937, so we can't do anything here. Uh, it is... Ooh, we could get radar level 1. Or we could get concentrated industry, which we will do. Let's go ahead and do this. Again, let's get our multipliers out of the way. Trade mission from the Australasian Confederation. Uh, what did they... In return for dropping the tariffs... In place, currently restricting imports, they promised to do the same for Canadian goods. Okay. And that will give us political power, which we desperately need, guys. We desperately need that. There's just no two ways about it. Um, so I... In terms of going to war with the CSA, we have to finish the Imperial Conference here. After which, we have to come over... Uh, in the focus tree and go down here to crossing the border, which we are going to do. Uh, it's just has to hurry the hell up. And in fact, I should have done this before. I should have invaded them before this happens because now we face having to put uh, troops up on this border, which obviously we just simply cannot afford to do. We have we have no troops. All right, excavation two. Excavation 2 is good because that is going to open up some decisions for us, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and do improved machine tools and see what decisions this opened up for us. Uh, we could... yeah, we're not going to do any of these reinforcement missions because they have no troops guarding the border. So let's go ahead and have a look down here. We still have 100% or 100 political power. And the people who would help us most are the people that are helping us now. So let's go ahead and invest in the French Republic. Now let's come down here. Return Panamanian lands. No, we are not going to do that. We bought it in blood. Uh, here is what we're going to do, though. Uh, develop Alberta oil. That's going to give us eight oil in Alberta, strangely enough. And develop coal in southern Ontario. So let's go ahead and wait on that. Yeah, because that's going to take three civilian factories. So we're going to wait. Because we're already obviously hurting enough. Although we could get away with it. And possibly get more factories out of it. What is our coal like? Okay, we don't have it right here. But... Ugh. Alright, well, let's do it. Yeah, that will add 16 additional steel in Quebec. So, yeah, we are going to do it. What am I saying? What am I saying, Mike? Okay. How are we doing here? All right, that's good. Perfect. Uh, yeah, oh boy, the CSA is winning all over the place here. And we're not going to be able to stop them. We don't have the divisions to do it. Oh, God, that hurts. That hurts really bad. Okay, Honduras took two states. Nicaragua was annexed. I know what you guys are really after. I know what you're after. I should take you over, but I can't. You're lucky Kaiserreich won't let me invade you right now. Oh, boy. Okay, Flanders. Wallonia declared war on Flanders. Oh, this is, this is interesting. Aha. Okay, I see. So it's a small, like, civil war disturbance. That's not really... Well, that actually could <laughs> impact us greatly very soon. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so we do have enough command power that if... Yeah, we can actually give our generals an upgrade. And what we're going to do is infantry expert. Yep, that makes the most sense. For what we're trying to accomplish here. And then Bernie. Bernard Montgomery. 
Organization first. Let's do Charismatic. That, that recovery rate is huge. That is something that we most definitely need. Okay, the Imperial Conference. We got that done. The Imperial Conference of 1937. The Eighth Imperial Conference. Okay, what are we going to do here? We have two choices. Uh, Canada is key to retaking the home isles. Yes, I agree. Minus 10% goods factories, uh, consumer good factories for 180 days, plus 100 political power. We absolutely need that. Okay, we do not have the spirit divided nation. How do we get rid of divided nation? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we can't go down that route. And I get the feeling that it is because we did not finish any of these. Gets us that Privy Council. Fate of the Senate. Yes. Let's do this one. We'll finish these ones up. Hmm. Turn Panamanian lands. Not going to happen. It's our lands, not Panamanian lands. And let's begin a Canadian tour. Um, I thought that I did this before, guys, but somebody rightly pointed out that I did it. I did the tour with the uh, Prime Minister, not with the King. So let's go ahead and do this at home. That's what we need the most right now. Complaints over labor camp conditions. Let's see. Improve camp conditions. These guys are giving us lots of manpower, so let's just improve the conditions. Yeah, we'll do that. That's exactly what we'll do. And in fact, since we have so much manpower now, let's go ahead and train... Uh, no, not this one. Uh, we'll train an infantry division, and we'll set them here in St. Lawrence. Imperial Conference of 1937. All right. Now helping them is... Can yeah, that's us helping... The, uh, uh, the immigrants, British Indian delegate speaks. Okay, we will aid their research as best we can. Okay, Dominion India gains imperial research, which grants research speed. Plus 10%. Okay, good. West Indian delegate speaks. Uh, consumer goods factories minus 5%. Plus 10% construction speed. Gorgeous. Okay. I'm happy about all of that. Australasian delegate speaks. Our best advisors are on their way. Okay, see, we're doing some good stuff now. We're doing some really good stuff. Uh, now that we have... Oh, wow. We have 24 factories, so let's go ahead and do some more military factories because I would like to start producing tanks. If we may, but it doesn't look like we may... Okay, the A11 Matilda. Let's go ahead and start to produce this bad boy. Oh, wow, I forgot all the ships that we're upgrading. Like, we're upgrading all the ships. Okay, so let's go ahead and take... Uh, what have we here? We'll take infantry equipment down by one. Support equipment down by one. Artillery down by one. And we'll put three factories into the Matilda. All right. That's good. Uh, we also need a lot of steel, which we will trade for. We'll trade one more factory. Is that good? Okay, it's going to have to be good enough. End of the conference. Okay. We all came away stronger for that, and I'm really happy about that. The fate of the Senate is next. Royal speech poorly received. Shit! Okay, minus 5% war support, minus 25% political power. See, this just keeps happening. I don't know why I decided to do the, uh... God, the, the Canadian tour with the king. That's just not... It's just not working out for us. Uh, Rashidi Arabia has joined the Cairo Pact. Good for them. Okay. Um, wow, look at this. The CSA is just dominating. Syndicalism spreads to Burma. Not Burma. 
Uh, sympathy strikes across Canada. Okay, syndicalism changes plus 5%. Oh, come on. Really? That is absolute madness. There should be no... Okay. Union of Burma has joined East Syndicalist Union. This is bad. This is real bad. Syndicalism is on the march, guys. And they are absolutely trouncing the Americans. Flanders has capitulated. Okay. And what does that do for them exactly? Failed army coup in Tokyo. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nothing. Nothing's going well here. Paternal autocrats. Okay. Well, they're they're still fine. They're fine. I'm not going to worry about Japan right now. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, we got the QF2 pounder. Uh, it is still 1937, so we're going to go ahead and step away from that tech. Uh, let's go ahead and get radio detection. Because I do want to start to get uh, radar emplacements. Hang on, where are we here? And these are strategic bombers? Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's train them while we can. Oh, yeah, this is just bad. It's bad all around, guys. There is no good here. There is no good here. We have to go to war with the CSA very soon. Anti-syndicalism on the Imperial Broadcasting Service. Uh, put Wright in charge of the CBC. Put Wright in charge so long as he focuses attention on our foes abroad. Huh. Gain base stability minus 2%. Put Wright in charge of the CBC. And this guy does what exactly? Employ propaganda with more external focus for the fight against syndicalism. Okay. Put Wright in charge of the CBC. That's a short-term sacrifice. I know that's not good right now, but for the fight against syndicalism, anything will do. And let's go ahead and train yet another division since we do have all of this manpower. In fact, let's train three divisions at once. Oof. Yeah, because by the time we declare war, we're going to have to cover all of this. All of this. And we will flood in quite quickly, but the fact of the matter is, is that the uh, syndicalists are really, really on the march. Okay, let's go ahead and direct the exiles. I know their population is low right now. Uh, they should assist the Canadian government. Hang on. Uh, okay, fate of the Senate. All right, we'll do that. Uh, since the arrival of the exiles to Canada, King George V appointed many of their numbers to the Canadian Senate, mainly as rewards for valiant service to the defense of the empire. Since King Edward's ascension, the appointments of the exiles has continued to the point where the Senate is often referred to as the Canadian House of Lords. Many members of the government are saying that the time has come to insist on Senate reform passing a law requiring senatorial appointments be confirmed by the House of Commons. Considering the Senate has a power to reject bills, this could result in a showdown with the king unless he decides that it is better not to anger the government of his host country while in exile. Huh. We need reform. It's the king's prerogative to choose as he wishes. I I like that because it is it increases the amount of authoritarianism. So we're going to do this. This is the long-term goal. Okay, directing the British exiles, let's assist the Canadian government. 130 or we now have 138 uh, political power. Uh but I don't know if I want to do any of these things with it. Or do we? Return Panamanian lands. Not happening, as I said. All right. No national focus set. Let's go ahead and do the status of the Privy Council. Uh, to kind of round out that uh, tree of national focuses. Okay. Synthetic oil experiments. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and do fuel refining two here. This fuel is going to be an ongoing problem for us throughout this entire playthrough, I can already guarantee it. Hmm. Pacific submarine fleets. 
All right, all these guys are trained up, correct? Okay, these guys are not. Let's train them. Serbia declared war on Bulgaria. But good for them. Fourth Balkan War. Oh, God, I really hope the Americans hang on there until we can come to the rescue. Yeah, it's going to be a while. It's definitely going to be a while until we can come to the rescue. Oh, son of a bitch. And what are you guys working on precisely? CIC Smedley Butler. Hmm. All right. Well, we have built a 50% network here, but what can we do operations-wise? And the answer is very little. And, in fact, it's none. I mean, yeah, we can't boost ideology. We can do propaganda. Yeah, I think we should continue to build our intel network here. Unfortunately, because there's not much else to be done. At least till we get this up some. At least till we get this up. We should have more than one uh, agent as well, just for the simple fact Three different branch upgrades. Oh, that's right. What am I thinking? Okay, we have to do uh, branch upgrades. And let's do the cryptology department. We'll get that formed this episode. Okay, yeah, that's going to take quite a few factories from us. But I'm okay with that. Because it is only for 52 days. And we will get that second agent so that we can actually start to um, perform some real operations. The Ottomans declared war on Bulgaria. Okay, so the Ottomans jumping in here. This is going to be interesting. They don't seem to be going anywhere, but interesting nonetheless. Okay, improve machine tools. Uh, it is still 1937, and I would like to do... Oh, yeah, we can't really do anything there. All right, we are doing radio detection. We have all of our fighters, all of our aircrafts that we care about up to speed. Artillery still needs to be developed a little bit. And let's... Okay, we already did Field Hospital 2, or Field Hospital 1. So I am happy with that. Let's go ahead and look at uh, the depth charge thrower. That is what I want. For light ships and cruisers. Perfect. Perfect. And we can now allegedly... Okay, we're doing export focus. Hmm. I would love to be able to do... <laughs> change up our conscription laws, but we can't, obviously. So let's go ahead and have a look at our industrial concern. We can get... Industrial research speed plus military factory construction speed. Yes! That is what we are doing. We are getting Dosco. Gorgeous. I am quite satisfied with that. And, oh boy, does Bulgaria look like they're hosed. Syndicalists in the Baharatia Commune. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, we're just... We're just in trouble all around. Okay, fine. Nonetheless, we are still doing okay. I'm not going to panic just yet uh, because we are the hobbits were there and back again delightful story thank you for that I, I didn't need that but that was a nice touch that you threw in okay very good uh, let's go ahead and start to deploy some of these divisions and get them training up I, I would rather them train in this army uh, let's go ahead and do the shift train. And let's go ahead and expand this front line because, ooh boy, are we. Alright, uh, Mysore declared war on the Princely Federation. Oh, I can't because it's a different owner. I can't do it. Alright, fine. As long as you're training, I'm happy. Okay, where are the Marines exactly? The Marines need to actually uh, cover this right here. 
yeah, that'll be fine. Because for whatever reason, the... Oh, jeez. Italy is throwing their hat in the ring here. They're actually helping the CSA. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just let the Marines come up here, and they will cover that section of the line. Not in an offensive role, but just in case. There we go. Yeah, oh man, look at this. I'm salivating to go to war, guys. Uh, for the simple fact that we could just walk through here and really do some real damage to the CSA. Alright. We just formed... Yeah, we just formed the Cryptology Department. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Uh, which one of these? Uh, Radio Interception Group. That's right. I want to up our decryption. Alright, status of the Privy Council... We have three choices here. We should push for moderate candidates. Change in the popular social conservatism. Recruitable population factor plus 5%. Daily political power gain. Influence of the British exiles will decrease. Yes, please. Okay. So now we should get a lot more manpower to where we can actually train divisions that we need. All right, draft bill C7. Let's go ahead and do this. Time for the showdown. I like it. Bill C7 debate begins. Okay, parties, conservatives. Uh, we shall see. Yes, we shall, shall we? Uh, let's go ahead and start to decrypt the CSA. No, not them. Here, the CSA. All right. 960 days. Yeah, it's going to take a while, but as we get these upgrades done, that should be a lot faster. I hope. Oh my god. It better be a lot faster. Alright. National conscription. Perhaps the most important issue covered by the bill is that of conscription. The conservative government has avowed that it intends to employ extensive conscription across the country. There are those in the party, however, who have expressed grave concern over the reaction from the French Canadians and have suggested that a more limited form of conscription, while still objectionable to the French, would at least not stir up violence and might actually get a support uh, from the Liberals. Ugh. Okay. Limited? No, we don't do limited. We are Canada. We are so hardcore. And I don't care if the French get upset. Of course the French would get upset over having to serve in the military. I know that's not their thing, clearly, but okay. Alright, well now we're in trouble. Uh, because the CSA has taken all of the northeastern U.S. Uh-oh. Nepal declared war on Dominion of India. Superior firepower doctrine. Beautiful. Uh, let's continue on with this. I do not want to fall behind. This will give us plus 10 organization. I appreciate that. Uh... Ah, uh, jeez. You know what? We probably should do some reinforcement here. Yeah, let's reinforce Ottawa just for the simple fact it is our capital. And what's that going to take from us exactly? Come on. Let's go up. Let's go up. Okay, after 60 days, we will get four land forts. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade, or add this to our armor, to the A11 Matilda. Perfect. And we're still upgrading the tanks that we have. Damn. How much longer do we have here? Alright, we got Concentrated Industry 2. Thank God, finally. Uh, so what we are going to do next is... Ooh. Still 1937. We've gotten a lot of text on this turn. Um, hmm. it's November 1937 though so if we wanted to go a little bit early on some of these we could and I think we should do improved infantry equipment honestly we'll get that a little bit early perfect and what is this French cavalry what are you doing here why okay all right, I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. I'm just saying that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, God. This is not looking good. The U.S. of A is in trouble. And, in fact, they're about to be cut off here. And what treaties do we have with them? 
if any, we don't. Oh boy. We could start Lindley's. I think that would be wise. Let's go ahead and give them a one-time deal of about a thousand infantry equipments. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Bill C7, the future of Canada's industry. Okay, we need armaments now. The economy will focus on arms factories and dockyards or political power. Armaments now, not later, perhaps. Uh, civilian and arms factories. Okay, that would make the most sense because I don't want to just get all military factories. Whatever we can do to help. Okay, we got radio interception group and let's go ahead and do passive defense and that will get us our third upgrade so that we can become spy masters so that we can uh, recruit a second agent, which I'm pretty happy about doing finally. All right, so after we draft Bill C7, I, oh God, I, we really need, we really need to uh, invade, like time now. A uh, new home of the right now. Oh boy. I guess we should do address the army next if we can't go to war. Use the focuses to go to war. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and put a fifth factory into tanks. The left, Kuomintang, declared war on those guys. Excellent. Yeah, Asia is in flames. Why am I surprised? Well, actually, I'm not. Uh, Maklik capitulated. Damn. Damn, damn. Yeah, these radical socialist douchebags, national populists. We land somewhere in the middle of those guys right now, because what are we? We're still social conservatives, but... Uh, I really want to go authoritarian. Okay, and it looks like the CSA has broken through on the northern border, which is a huge problem. An absolutely massive problem that we are going to have to address. Shit. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Because now we have to occupy up here. Alright, the Cairo pack. Yeah, all this is going to be a disaster, guys. Look at how the CSA is growing, and I assume they have a lot of support from a lot of people. They do. Yeah, they have Union of Britain, Commune of France, Socialist Republic of Italy, Chile, Mexico have all sent volunteers, and they're getting a ton of Lend-Lease from a lot of other places. So guys, if we are to counter them, we are going to have to match that Lend-Lease and uh, enter this war directly. Oh god, I'm really not looking forward to this. It's a logistical nightmare, considering the amount of divisions we have. But, we will make it work, guys. Never fear. Don't worry, Mike Tannock's in charge. No nothing has ever gone wrong on my watch, except for when it did. So, I will see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please do consider subscribing, because we are not quitting until the Dominion of Canada is the preeminent power in the world. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.